In Russia, the government announced the preparation of a package of special measures to face the unilateral coercive measures imposed on the country and to guarantee domestic production. From Moscow, Odette Diaz gives us all the details. Greetings, colleagues. Thanks for the contact. Effectively, the Prime Ministry of Russia, Mikhail Mishustin, announced on Wednesday that his country is preparing a package of more than 100 measures to respond to the effect of those economic sanctions imposed by the Western. In declarations to the press, the official detailed that in order to put initiatives into effect, a financing of about 1 trillion rubles, about $9 billion, is forcing. Mishustin pointed out that on the instructions of President Vladimir Putin, a whole series of measures were drawn up, many of them included in the draft of the Priority Action Plan, which is a very flexible document that will be constantly updated and will be implemented in stages, depending on the situation. He also detailed that the small and medium enterprises of the Eurasian nation are contemplated to receive support within the Priority Action Plan. Likewise, according to the Premier, a special credit program will be launched for the enterprises of the strategic areas with which they will be able to replenish their operating capital and continue working without interruptions. He detailed that the state support will be particularly focused on companies in sectors such as agriculture, tourism, culture, science, medicine, software development, mass catering, food production, furniture manufacturing, clothing and trade. According to Mishustin, Moscow also plans to propose to its partners of the Euro-Asian Economic Union, which together with Russia is integrated by Belarus, Kazakhstan, Armenia and Kyrgyzstan, the possibility of increasing the maximum limit for the import of dirty free goods under electronic commerce. This will allow to maintain the maximum possible access to the resources and goods needed in the current conditions, explained the Prime Minister, while emphasizing that the actions of the West will not hinder the cooperation and integration of the bloc. It is expected that the list of economic actions will be approved by the next session of the Ministerial Cabinet, so some of its measures will begin to be implemented before the end of March. So far, some details of this news. Now we return the signal.